Bess, it's great to have you here. And um, yeah, I mean, prices down 25% from the 2017 peak. Are they going to have further to fall? You know, it's hard to say. Uh, we were already in a price correction before this pandemic hit. And so I, I expect that prices may correct a little bit more as we open up today. Uh, but, you know, people are going to want to buy and people are going to want to sell and rent. So as long as transactions are happening, we're happy. Who wants to buy primarily? Who has the confidence in this environment? I do. <laughs> no, but a lot of uh, there are a lot of there are a lot of buyers out there that are interested in taking advantage of incredible rates. Uh, it's an opportunity market. There's a lot of supply. So buyers can pick and choose like never before. And this is New York City. You know, it's one of the greatest cities in the world. It's very resilient. And people want to live here. They want to raise families here. So that's not going to change. There may be some people that decide that they don't want to live in vertical living anymore. Uh, that's possible. We'll see some of that. But there are going to be some people that double down and want to stay in New York City. So we will only know in the upcoming months. It's hard to tell right now. And Robert, it's interesting to me. It seems a little bit like the flip side of what's happening, you know, in the suburbs of Manhattan right now. Manhattan itself sounds like a buyer's market. The suburbs are definitely a seller's market. We have things going for a lot over asking price, often all cash. And you wonder how long these trends will last. Yeah, and the big mystery here is we just don't know what's going to happen in Manhattan because it's been shut down. There's been no price discovery. So we've seen all this demand outside of New York City, even in Florida, but we don't know what impact, if any, it's going to have in the city. I guess my question for Bess is for bargain hunters, which segment do you think has the best deals right now? Will it be Upper East Side co-ops? Will it be condo buildings downtown? Which segment for people looking for the first time to buy in New York, looking for a bargain, which segments will have the best price cuts or discounts? Well, I think, you know, the Upper East Side is an incredible place. There's a lot of uh, supply there. So people could find condos and co-ops. And I think people are looking there. They like the Upper East Side because there's lots of schools, hospitals and parks. So there's incredible value to be had. Um, and, you know, downtown is always, you know, downtown is typically a little bit more expensive. You know, the West Village and Soho. Uh, but the East Village is emerging. A lot of people like the East Village. And there's value to be had there. Brooklyn is always a great place uh, to find uh, opportunity. So I think it depends on what you're looking for. Um, but, and just to talk for a second about the fact that there has been, you know, uh, an incredible demand in other places. That's true for us in Palm Beach, in Connecticut. You know, places like Rhinebeck, you know, you can't keep stuff on the market there. So as you said, Robert, correctly, it's going to take some time to see how New York pans out uh, as we go through this opening of the market. You know, Bess, I, I'm, I'm curious what sellers, are, new sellers who have just listed, are telling you about why they are putting their places on the market right now. That's question one. And because I'm famous for compound questions, here's number two. What are the new buyers who are in the market asking for that maybe they wouldn't have asked for four months ago? Well, there are some sellers that do want to leave New York. We do have some of those who wish to move to the suburbs. Remember, the issues with the taxes have been a problem prior to the pandemic. You know, people have been leaving here because the taxes are ridiculous. Um, and so that's been one issue why sellers are leaving and some are going to Florida, some are going to different states where it's a little bit more flexible. Um, so and then some sellers are saying, you know, I just want to live in a different environment. I don't want to be in a place where there's vertical living. You know, I'm worried about if they have health issues or if they have small children, they just don't want to be at risk. And there's some sellers that feel that way. On the other hand, there are some sellers that are completely comfortable and are maybe thinking about different space. They want a home office. They want outdoor space. So it's a mixed bag completely. And when it comes to buyers, there are a lot of buyers that want to come here, live here, work here. Uh, they want to invest in New York City. And there's a variety from studios to two bedrooms to families that are, you know, growing. You know, we have we see an array of different sorts of buyers and sellers in this environment. Bess, you answered both of my questions. That is very good. Thank you very much.